Hey guys, it's Nick from F150LEDs.com. Today we're here in our 21 Ford Bronco and we're showing you how to install our auxiliary panel system. Now this panel system looks fantastic and allows you to control six different light sources or any auxiliary power device. So it installs incredibly easy. It's got gun metal, which matches the accents here of our Bronco Fantastic. It's got blue LED backlighting to match the uh, backlighting of our screens. We've got 26 custom panels for the different uh, lighting apparatuses. Plus we've got our custom brackets. So not only does it make the installation easy, but you can retain your custom uh, Bronco plate here. So it looks fantastic. It looks seamless and installs on both the automatic and manual Broncos in the same way. So it's a great install, easy to do, and we show you how it's done right now. Sincerely, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. We really appreciate it, and we don't want you to miss out on any of the great content for your Ford truck. All right, let's get back to the video. The first thing that we need to do is mount our mounting bracket here to the back of the auxiliary panel. So we're gonna use the included screws here with the included Phillips head screwdriver. Next, we can remove our Bronco plate here using a Torx 20 screwdriver. Now we can remove our Bronco plate and place it on top of our custom bracket here. And then we're gonna reinstall right back into the same place using the screws that we just removed. Now we're ready to mount our auxiliary switch panel here to our new uh, bracket. It can help a little bit to squeeze in on these panels. It just gives you a little bit more room to get your new bracket over the top. And then we're gonna use our Allen bolts. She's an Allen screws here. Allen bolts, head all right. And then you're just gonna hand thread from both sides. passenger side as well. And then once we've got them both hand threaded, we'll use the included Allen wrench to tighten the panel down. Now let's mount our power distribution block here in the engine bay. So what we're gonna use is this lip here on the passenger fender, and we're gonna drill two holes to mount the block here five and a half inches apart. With our two mounting holes drilled, now we can mount the distribution block right to the fender well. And we're gonna be using our stainless steel hardware to do that. Now we can take our positive lead and connect it to a positive terminal here on our battery. So we're gonna use a size 10 millimeter socket, or you can use a wrench to remove the nut. Then we'll place our lead right over the terminal and reinstall that nut. And make sure that you fully tighten it all the way down. Now we can repeat for our ground terminal. Connecting our auxiliary LED lighting to our distribution block is extremely easy. You're just gonna push down, deep press down on this latch here and pull up on the cover. And that's gonna expose our connector points here. The bottom point is gonna be your last switch in the panel, so switch six. And then the top here is gonna be your first panel. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna take the Phillips head screwdriver, you're gonna loosen the Phillips head screw here on this side of the panel, and then you're gonna take your relay activation wire, you're gonna run it into the opening side here that correlates with that Phillips head screw, and then you're gonna tighten that screw 
all the way down like so now this light this relay is activated or connected and now we can put our cover back in place and we'll be able to operate that light using switch six on our auxiliary panel next take your master switch wire here from your distribution block and you're going to connect it to the included easy fuse tab once we've done that we'll remove this fuse panel cover here there's three tabs one located here one located here on the back and then one located here on the side you lift those tabs up and then we're gonna have to pry it out underneath our distribution block here as well a bit of a tight fit like so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this fuse located right here you see it on camera we're looking for a switch fuse so a fuse that's gonna come active when the truck's engine is running and that's gonna tell our aux panel to provide power so we're gonna take this 15 amp fuse here and then we're going to place it into the open slot here on our easy fuse tap connector. So push it all the way in, make sure it's all the way in like so. And then we're going to put this easy tap connector right back where that fuse was originally. So just like so. Now we can put our cover back on and then we'll be able to run the um, control harness back into the truck and connect to the aux panel itself. Now we can connect our control harness to the auxiliary block here using the included waterproof connectors. You'll notice there's a notch here at the top and you're going to want to line those up. Like so, and then bring your block collar ring, screw it all the way down. Now what we're going to do is take this, uh, this side of our control wire and we're going to run it into, there's a circular grommet here, you may not be able to see it on the camera but you can pull back on that grommet and then just push this wire into the cab of the Bronco. So that's what we're gonna do now. It's hard again to show this one on camera, but once you're doing it with hands-on, you'll be able to see, easily see and access this rubber grommet. And once our wire's in, just push that grommet back around to reseal it. Now we can take our wire that we just ran through from the engine bay into the cab of the truck. We're gonna bring it here to our auxiliary panel we're going to make our connection. Again, we've got the same waterproof connector that has that notch in it that you want to line up, push in all the way, and then take your locker ring collar and make sure it's tightened all the way. And what we're going to do is we're going to tuck this harness here under this dash trim piece. You can just push it back under the panel, like so. I'm going to go right up under our dash panels. You can take a, some a dash trim to push as well. That's helpful. Okay, so now our wire is hidden here underneath our plastic trim panels. Now I'm gonna hide the rest of our wire underneath the carpet. So if you reach up uh, behind your gas pedal and your brake pedal here, you can actually pull back on the top of this carpet. So that's where I'm gonna tuck the rest of our harness there. One, ensuring that it doesn't impede any safety with our pedals, and two, so we get a completely hidden install. Okay, now we can uh, decide which switch panels we want to apply to our auxiliary panel itself, and we'll be done. Now we can take our custom labels and decide which labels we want to use on our panel. So you can go specific, roof bar, bumper bar, Raptor lights, different fog light combinations, or you can go more the OEM style with aux one through six, or you can even black out panels that you're not gonna be using. So that's all there is to installing our auxiliary control panel here on a 2021 and up Ford Bronco. It's gonna work across all trim levels and all transmission levels as well. It's a great product. We highly recommend it. You can check it out right now at F150LEDs.com where you'll find all of our custom-built LED lighting products built specifically for your Ford Bronco. We truly appreciate your support and look forward to seeing you there. Thanks, guys.